Hey guys, this is Josh McDonald from joshmcdonald.net. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, multiple locations. So if you have a local business or a business that you're trying to target locally in multiple cities, how do you structure your URLs? Um, I had a consultation call about two weeks ago with someone, a couple calls actually, and then I just got some more messages about it. So I figured, you know what, let me make a video. Let me sum this up. Um, my thoughts at least you can share yours in the comments I'm happy to discuss it um, so there's three possibilities really okay we got a lot of people a lot of people come to me saying they're gonna do a different domain for each city and if you've ever ranked a, a brand new domain name uh, you know it's it's getting increasingly difficult it's not easy to rank a fresh domain name that's why so many of us are using expired domain names because they already have a backlink profile that we can that we can use. There's already linked use point to it. Ranking a fresh domain name in 2016 is not easy. It's very difficult. And if you're going to do it across, you know, you might go to like 30 different, I don't know, it depends on how many locations you want to do. 15? That's a lot. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of work. I mean, even just ranking one is going to be difficult. And then if you're, if you're in a low competition city that, you know, say has a population of, of less than 30,000, it might be it might be fairly easy to rank still exact match domains that people say they're dead but um, you know when it's such a low when it's such a low uh, search count and such low competition they're they're an easy way to rank um, but they're not when you're talking population um, greater than 30,000 then you it's gonna be very difficult because you're gonna have to get high authority links for all of these not just one and you're gonna get sick of it I mean I do high authority links for my personal blog trying to get editorial links things like that and it's it's hard I mean, my email is getting a big mess and you know you got 15 emails out right now and that's for one domain name you you times that by 15 I mean you're gonna have a whole bunch of emails and a whole bunch of outreach going on it's gonna be just a big disaster and it's gonna be hard to keep track of and uh, you know you might you're not gonna get you're gonna just, at the end of that you're gonna be stressed out you're gonna have barely any link use to any of them and you're gonna give up simple this one is another factor but the thing is about uh, subdomain names is from my research now you can I love to I love to talk to you guys in the comments about this but um, subdomain names are treated basically as, as separate entities so when you have a subdomain name it doesn't really write off of you know mybrand.com the authority of that it's you know it's on its own you think of like think of like WordPress right WordPress is made of a bunch of subdomains WordPress you could argue they have a little bit of a, an advantage when it comes to ranking a WordPress.com blog, uh, but for the most part, you really don't get to take advantage of the of the linked use of, of the main domain. So, for the most part, these are basically considered separate entities. Um, I don't know. I, I I would not do that. My my suggestion is what I tell everyone to do is simply just do just do like just do a a sub page. Make a you know if you're Whatever, Toronto. Um, um, no, let's. I don't know. Let's do like uh, Miami. You know, you just list them out like that, and then have you know tons of content on each one. And then when you're doing Google listings, like you're doing Google Maps, you can actually make. I, and I've done this. I've done this for a company. They had uh, one company acquired the other company, and they had two companies that that sat unmerged but owned by the same people for like ten years, like a decade. And what they did was they put, they would have uh, mybrand.com forward slash, um, you know, division one, put that, and then mybrand.com forward slash division two. And each one would have their own Google Maps listing. Google perfectly, you don't need, that's a big misconception. And, and I thought I thought the same thing. I didn't know you actually needed to have, I, I, I believed you needed to have unique domain names, but you do not. You can have, you know, you can have, and you can. You don't need to point to a domain name. You, you don't need to point to the root. You can point to a sub page in your Google Maps listing. So this is a perfect, you know. You, then you throw in your phone number and everything. Um. Yeah, that's that's my take on this. I would go. I would go this route with sub pages, and then when you're smashing this with with high, you know, high ed, ed, high authority links, editorial links, guest posts, and everything, all your sub pages are going to benefit. And then you can do if you want to do outreach in Miami. You can still do outreach in Miami. Get some Miami local local guest posts. Maybe exchange with some other uh, companies in Miami for guest posts, 
and on their blog and then when you do a link to this this will benefit but then boom the whole domain is going to benefit and you're going to get linked use um, you know carried over to Toronto through interlinking or internal linking on your website so I mean this is my suggestion um, it's if you have specific questions ask in the comments if it's lengthy I do consult excuse me consultation for two dollars a minute if you need that um, but hopefully I answered a lot of your questions and, and, and steered you away from making bad decision of going with this route um, which I said might only be, it, it could work fine if it's very like this is very low comp you know then it'd be easy to rank but then that I mean it's kind of similar here if it's low competition um, you know I'm from a small town called Turkey Point or Simcoe would be bigger you know you haven't heard of that and if you google that town you're probably not going to see a whole lot about it so it's low competition because the population is probably only 20,000 and if I made a page like that on, on my website I would rank you know first couple pages first couple uh, results on Google no problem um, anyways that is everything like I said leave a comment got any questions see you in my next video thumbs up if you enjoyed this